Larger rivers were spared any big flood problems in our region. Smaller ones weren't so lucky. The Lackawanna River spilled its banks and took aim on a landmark auto repair business. And it's not the first time, but the owner wants it to be the last. WBRE WYOU Eyewitness News reporter Mark Hiller explains. Flood cleanup has become a little too common at Shoeback's Auto Parts. Shoveling, power washing, and whatever else it takes is needed to get this family business that dates back to the 1950s up and running. This is a workout. Like, I will be sore for days. My back will probably be killing me, but, you know, you kind of work on adrenaline. All that work is the result of the Lackawanna River spilling its banks, flowing across Lonesome Road and into the garage. Eyewitness News was there Wednesday night when the road looked more like a lake than a way to and from several businesses, including Shoebacks. So this side didn't get it too bad. Michelle Shoeback Ruby showed me inside her brother's garage, which hours earlier had two feet of flood water inside it. The sandbags did hold up and help us a lot. The borough brought those in for us, um, but it's still, you know. Instead of working on customers' cars, owner Mike Shoeback is working to clear flood mud by using a front end loader. He estimates flooding has put the brakes on business nearly a dozen times through the years. We have a, a strong customer base in Old Forge and Taylor and Music and, and even outlining areas and uh, the livelihoods of, of the people that work for us. Meantime, workers had to shut down Lonesome Road between Main Street and Music and Bridge Street and Old Forge. With the Lackawanna River still rather high, crews cleaned up the road and used heavy stone to shore up the riverbanks. Rock reinforcement is one thing, but the shoebacks believe the state needs to step in and do something much more. Or otherwise, every time it rains like it did Wednesday, they're going to be dealing with flooding. Shoeback believes the right move is to build up the riverbanks by several feet. If we do this, it's going to solve the problem. I mean, there's so much height at the end of the river, and there's so little here. Unless that happens, there'll just be more exhausting work yet again. Thankfully, it's a holiday week, and we're going to be cleaning up till next week. In Old Forge, Mark Hiller, 2822 Eyewitness News. The Shoeback hopes to be able to reopen his business on Tuesday. Meantime, Lonesome Road did reopen to traffic this afternoon.